Okay. I'm going to review the rounding lesson that we did a little bit earlier. If you missed it, you can watch this. If you need to watch it again just to help yourself, that's fine too. All right, so we have a new way of rounding. You see up here on the screen, it says, find your place, then look next door. Five or greater, add one more. Four or less, stay at rest. Digits in front stay the same. Digits behind, zeros their name. I know that's a lot to look at. We're just going to look at the first three lines to start out with. So I'm going to give us a number and I'm going to write it down and it will be 83. Down here, it tells us we're going to round to the nearest, and I'm gonna pick right now 10. All right, so what we need to do is this. Find your place. Our place is the tens place. I'm going to underline the eight, the tens place. Find my place. Then look next door. Next door is a three. Five or greater, if the number next door is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, five or greater, five or more, add one more. So if this number over here is Great, five or greater, I'm going to add one more to this eight to round it to 90. If it is four or less, you stay at rest, which means if this number next door is four or less, we stay at rest, which means we leave that number the same and we don't change it. So find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more. This number is not five or greater, it is four or less. So this number is going to stay at rest, the eight is, and I'm not going to change it, and I'm going to round it to eight. Let's try another one. This may seem confusing at first, but once you practice some, you will get it. All right, let's round to the nearest 10 again. I have 675. I'm still rounding to the nearest 10. Find your place, the tens place, look next door, if the number next door is five or greater, add one more to seven, to the 70. If it is four or less, we stay at rest. Find your place, the tens place, look next door. The next door is the five. It is five or greater, so I'm going to add one more to the seven. So now my number is eight in the tens place. Digits in front stay the same, so I need to go back and add the six right here, and then digits behind, zero is their name, so I'm going to put a zero right here. So when I round 675 to the nearest 10, I get 680. Now I'm going to move on and round to the nearest 100. Same thing. So I have the number 736. Now it says round to the nearest hundred. Find your place. My place is the hundreds place. Look next door. Next door there is a three. Four or less, stay at rest. It's four or less. Five or more, five or, great, five or greater, add one more. But this is four or less, so I'm going to keep this at rest. I'm going to put the seven down here. Digits in front stay the same. I don't have any digits in front. Digits behind, zero is their name. When I round 736 to the nearest 100, I get 700. Let's try another one. Round this number to the nearest 100. 4,863. Same deal. Find your place. My place is the hundreds place. Look next door. Five or greater, add one more. Four or less, stay at rest. This number next door is five or greater, so I'm going to add one more to the eight and make it a nine. I'm going to have the digit in front stay the same, which is a four. And then I'm going to have the zero, the numbers behind, zero is their name. So 
4,863 rounded to the nearest hundred is 4,900. Now let's try the thousands. Round to the nearest thousand. My number is 2,483. Find your place. My place is the thousands. Look next door. Next door is a four. Four or less, stay at rest. So that means I'm going to keep the two the same. I'm not going to add one more. I'm going to keep the two the same because four or less, stay at rest. All the numbers after it become a zeros. When I round to the nearest thousand, when I round 2,483 to the nearest thousand, I get two thousand. One more. 33,472. Find your place. My place is a thousands place still. Look next door. There's the four. Four or less stay at rest. I'm going to keep this a three. Digits in front stay the same. Digits behind, zero is their name. 333,000, I'm sorry, 33,472 rounded to the nearest thousand is 33,000. I will try one more. I know I told you I was done, but I'm going to challenge you here for a minute. Now let's round to the nearest 10,000. I'm going to give you a bigger number, 7,600, I'm sorry, 768,432. 768,432. Find your place. My place is the 10,000s place. And that place is a 6. Look next door. Next door is an 8. Four or less stay at rest, but five or more I'm sorry, five or greater, add one more. So the number next door is five or greater. It's an eight. So that means I add one more to the six. It becomes a seven. Digits in front stay the same. Digits behind, zero is their name. I have to make sure I make the eight a zero. All four, three, and two become zeros. When I round 768,432 to the nearest 10,000, I get 770,000. I hope this is helpful. I would like for you to try this strategy today. Let me know if you have any questions.